This is disgusting. Uh oh. It looks like Jason has the lice. I think the lice have Jason. Lice is disgusting. Oh, yuck. What exactly are lice? They're little bugs that live in your hair. How do you get rid of them? Well, you can put this powder on your head, or you can use this special shampoo and drown them. Drown them? Is that ethical? They're parasites, Brendan. They're not supposed to be there. Oh, well. Thumbs up, guys. I got the lice. Ew. Well, you're up, Melissa, and I'll uh, see you two later. I have to get home. Mm -hmm. Oh, wish me luck, Brennan. Yeah, good luck. Hey, Jason, wait. I probably shouldn't um, stand right next to you because if you don't have the lice, you'll probably get it from me. Well, that's fine with me, but wait, can I ask you, do you, you get to go home because of the lice? Yes, Brennan. The nurse says I have several different species of lice in my head. Right. She said um, they practically form their own ecosystem. Right, yeah, but you get to go home? Um, Brennan, I have an ecosystem living in my head. Right. Yes. Okay. So, bye-bye. Oh, gross. I'm sorry, honey. Oh, throw up. What? I don't have lace, do I? Princess, darling, you have like a million no. lice on your no. head. No! No! I'm sorry, Angel. I'm sorry. Go home now. I don't That's... want the lace. Um, next, please. Who's next? <clears throat> How do you do? Good, good. Why don't you hop up on the chair here, honey? Yes. Anything moving around in there? I don't see much of anything, really. Uh, you look good. <laughs> did you even look? Um, yes, I did Because no, that didn't take any time I at all. I need the next one, please, mm. next, yes. Sorry, no, I just, uh, I just accidentally dropped this. Here, why don't you, uh... I got another check. As a, you need I your will... mom to come pick you up. You're confirmed. But I'm, I also like the check. Okay, I need to see I the... I think the... I was misdiagnosed. Uh, Can I have their passes to go home? Next, please. Uh, lucky sons of... Brendan, listen to this. It's a speech for the assembly that's coming up. Okay. <clears throat> I say, Brendan, I need a strong team next season, you know, instead of what I have, which is you and a dozen other kids who hate soccer and can't play at all. I'm all ears. Let's see here. All right, everyone, quiet down, listen up. I'm out here to joke around. The name's McGurk. Soccer's my game. That could be rewritten, Brendan, that part right there. Hey. Anyway, uh, hey, what do you kids think I'm joking here? I said shut up, all right? How would everybody like to go to the principal's office? Okay, you know, you're starting a, 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 just a little defensive. A little too negative on the, uh... I, I, I just feel like you could risk alienating the audience. It's just that, uh, you know, I read a book that said, write what you know. Right, right, no, and, I mean... And, and no, it, said, it also said, write how you normally speak. I'll tell you, it sounds very natural, but, um, you know, it, you want new players. This could scare them off a little bit, you know, catch more flies with honey uh, thing, you know? Yeah, what are you, uh, saying? Just, just start a little, uh, possibly nicer, I'm not on sure. On an up note, yeah. Yeah. Well, I felt I did start on an up note. I said, quiet down. And I had a lot of energy when I said that, Brenda. Yeah, it's not, you've, the energy's definitely there. It's just, um... Coach? Uh-huh? Sorry I missed practice the other day. I have a note from the nurse. Let me see that. Were you sick? Lice. Did you say yes? Lice. I can't hear you, Melissa. Did you say yes? She had lice, coach. Yeah. Well, she had lice? You have lice? Yes. Well, those, those little yes. parasitical yeah. bugs. Yeah. Yes. Uh, shucks, I forgot, uh, Coach. You know, I think I've got lice too, and I, I better go to the nurse. Nurse? I thought she quit. No, the new nurse, Coach. She's good, and she's way prettier than Mrs. Briarman. Really? Mm hmm. Well, Mrs. Briarman was not pretty. We all agree on that, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, perhaps I should uh, bring that note, Melissa, to uh, her. Check it out. Okay. Maybe if you had the lice, maybe the coach has a little case of the lice too now. Mm -hmm. I mean, you never know. Mm -hmm. Jumping bugs, right? Yeah. So a bug could have just jumped on me right now. Melissa. I don't, you don't have it anymore. Well, how do you know? Okay, who knows what biology is? Is that a book about someone's life? Yes, Melissa, very good. Uh, it is a... No, wait. It's not a book about someone's life. That's a uh, biography. Biology is the study of your body. Well, and other living things, too. <clears throat> For example, with us, uh, the most important uh, thing to learn about us is the heart. A lot of people think, you know, the heart uh, is where the heart is. Um, it is. It's exactly there. And um, anyway. Oh, uh, gee. What's the matter? Oh, the tummy. Is, uh, you okay? Oh, boy. Oh, oh woo. Wow. Uh, huh. Everybody have a nice day. I'm going to the nurse and going uh, home. Good luck. Be able to stretch them across America and uh, be in all three time Excuse zones. Excuse me, Mr. Lynch. Oh. Brendan, you have a question about biology? Uh, yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, what does it mean when your stomach feels like it's going to explode? Hmm. Because, <clears throat> uh... Okay, well, you should go to the nurse and have this, uh, checked out. Yeah. Well, here, take the pass, yeah. but I, I want you to tell us what happens to you there as a, uh, a study in class biology. 
Everybody? Biology. That's very good, and it's very good to uh, speak in uh, unison. Yeah. What are we speaking in class, everybody? Unison. Right. Huh. Okay, Brendan, uh, take off. Okay, sweetie, why don't you hop off the table for me? Uh, sweetie? What? Did you just um, call me sweetie? Oh, I guess I did. Yeah, you, um, you definitely did. Listen, Jason, I want you to try washing more often. That's going to keep all of your open sores and scratches from getting infected. Uh, nurse, Kirk, my bat perfume you're wearing is intoxicating. Oh, that's very nice oh, of you. Oh, my God, you touched my arm. It, are you okay? Yes, nurse, Kirk, man. Look, I want you to start taking better care of yourself. You do? Yes, because you, sweetheart, are a breeding ground for bacteria. <laughs> Sorry. That's, that's fine. How embarrassing. Nothing to be ashamed of. Look, it's... Nurse Kirkman, uh, let's have a talk. Okay. Um, let me first say, I think... Hello? Uh, hey, Jason. Brenda, what are you doing here? I'm, uh... Um, the, why don't you go? I'm sick. Okay, so I'll go home. Get very quick soon, Brenda. Bye. Um... Okay, fine. <laughs> that's... Nurse, um, good day. Hmm, that was abrupt. I see you have a pass. Oh, right, of course. Ow! My stomach is bleeding! Ow! You're experiencing pain? Are you joking? Pain isn't a descriptive enough word for what's going on down here. It's more like a severe uh, pain. Here. Okay, mind if I Ow. take your temperature? <laughs> That's if you have to. I mean, if you can't take my word. 98.6. You're fine, Brendan. Mm. I'll tell you, I've seen a lot of fakers in my time, Brendan. I'm not faking. Yes, you are. Uh, hello? Hi. I'm, uh, <clears throat> Coach McGurk. Hello. Hey, Coach. Brendan, are you sick? No. Yes. Uh, no. I, uh, figured I'd drop by, introduce myself to, uh, to you, Brendan. I know you, so get out. Mm. Like I said, I'm Coach McGurk, and uh, you are uh, the new nurse, am I right? That's right. That's the outfit. <laughs> <laughs> I guess uh, I just wanted to meet you because soccer's a rough game. Yep. A lot of cuts and bruises, so I'll be sending a lot of business your way. <laughs> your way. <laughs> well, hopefully I'll send them right back out at you. Well, I uh, think we already have a great rapport. Uh <laughs> I think I'm actually sick now. So, you know, uh, Jen, I can call you Jen, right? Yeah. Because we're at a bar, and I don't want to call you nurse. Right, I actually am a person when I leave school, so... Yeah. And you know what? I... Well, I'm not. But I get your point. Right. Listen, what can I get you? You want a beer, or you want a... Uh, no, just a soda. Shot of hard liquor? You want a, like, a... Uh, no, just a soda. Oh, right, whatever. Listen, uh, here, cheers. Let me welcome you to, uh, to the neighborhood. Yeah, I certainly appreciate this. Yeah. And, uh, let's do this. Ready? Action. A uh, patient is suffering from a uh, hematoma in the left, uh, right ventricle, medical. According to this, the epiglottis is submerged in the aortic chamberal esophageal chamber. We'll have to operate. How are you? Horrible. Oh, feeling. Horrible. Okay, then it's settled. We operate. The longer you wait, the worse chances I have. Could you anesthetize her? Gladly. How much should I give her, doctor? I don't know. A million? Two million? I... Two million? I can't afford that. Million and a half. Million and a half worth of anesthesia coming up. Well, great. She's dead. Whoops. Nice job, doctor. Well, time of death is 7.30. I'm hungry. Let's eat. No, oh, no. Not on my shift. No, no, no. No, no, no. Uh, we can save her. Inject her with... Uh, um, uh, syringe. The yeah. syringe? Right. But put something inside it. About five billion cc's of adrenaline. Um, uh, don't you think that's a little steep, sir? Yeah. Doctor? I'm the doctor. Okay. I'm alive! Oh, good. We'll bill you later. So I said, you want it clean? Huh? You want it clean? You clean it! Clean it yourself! Clean it yourself! And I have not seen my mother since that point. Um, wow. Hey, you know what Darwin said? That we, you know, I'm talking about men. Right. We were trying to date our mothers. I've heard that. It got me thinking, am I trying to date my mother? You know, I mean, my my mother can't stand me. I can't stand my mother. Mm -hmm. And uh, that relationship has been reliving itself through other women for my whole life. You believe that? Right. Uh, no. Um... But anyway, you're pretty like my mother is. Oh. <laughs> no. So this is funny. 
anybody can become a soccer coach. Oh. Like they don't regulate. You have to get it like a degree, right? I do. Have and so you're qualified. Very. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. Yeah. Which is amazing. It is amazing. That you can become a coach of a sport you, that you don't even care about. You don't know how to play. You're not good with kids. Yeah. I but I have had the job for three years. Yeah. You are. I mean, because you'd think they'd check up and evaluate, what? but they don't. Wow. So you tired? A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we can stay, right? I mean, you're gonna hang it in there, right? You're gonna we're going we're in this for the long haul. I might just finish up this soda and then. Um... Right, 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 right. Me too. Me too. I'm gonna do that too. I'll finish my drink and then we'll. Uh, I'll take you home or something. Let me let me give you a ride. You shouldn't drive. Mm -mm. No, I should drive. I should drive. You're a little. Wow, you're right. I got the rubber legs. Yeah. All right, so maybe uh, you'll drive. Okay. Remember when I was yelling about my mother? Uh, yeah, I think everyone here remembers. Is that weird? Uh -oh. Well, this is uh, this is me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. well, get some rest. And this is me. <laughs> <laughs> well, um... Hey, you know, um, I hope that you had a nice time tonight. Because I certainly did. You're very nice. You don't say much. Yeah. Which is fine. I don't like talkers. Oh, thanks for the welcome. I um, and, um, uh, so you should come in. <laughs> Listen, well, um... Well, the thing is, I... I could just ...bought see. this new coffee grinder. Okay. Have you heard of Arabica? Uh, never. It's a type of coffee which apparently is amazing. I, I don't And really... um, it supposedly has like almost hallucinogenic effects. Definitely wouldn't now, be... I know you're a nurse and you probably don't get into that kind of stuff, but I do. And I could drink the coffee and uh, hallucinate and you could watch me. Oh. Okay. And I could put on... I have a, I have a reggae album collection. Mm. Rastaman. <clears throat> Listen, I'm gonna go. You, you don't I... want to come in and... I'll uh... see you at school tomorrow. Thanks, though. Whoa, Thanks. whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy. I don't want you to... It's a little flabby around the midsection. Okay. It's embarrassing. I'm not a young man anymore like I used to be. Oh. I was firm a couple years ago. Uh, okay, I better... You now my I metabolism be changed. I couldn't stop that. I better get going. You get okay. fat, lady. You get fat. Yep. That's what you do. <laughs> yep. Are you sure you don't want to come in right now? No. Somebody's uh, thirsty today. I'm not thirsty, Lynch. I'm uh, I'm dehydrated. Hmm. Dehydrated. Yeah, it's a big difference. I, uh, you know, I have to tell you this, but I noticed that you and the nurse left together after school yesterday. That's right. We did. Yes. You two uh, have fun. Yeah, we had fun. We had fun. I guess. What did you guys do? You ask a lot of questions, Lynch. Huh? What are you in love with her? No, no. She's a very nice woman, though. Well, we did. So you saw. So big deal. So what of it? Well. We have a community here, and uh, I saw something happening in the community, and I thought I'd uh, ask you about it. Look, Lynch, I don't remember what happened, all right, but I think it was good. I think it went mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you this, I, I think uh, her and I will be seeing each other again soon. Mm -hmm. You know, it also means hands off. You know what I'm saying? Hands off? Yeah. Hmm. I'm going to lay it on the line with you right now, Lynch, all right? Well, and typically I wouldn't do this because I don't like you, and I don't like talking to you. Mm -hmm. But the point is here, me and Nurse Kirkman are together. We're an item. Mm -hmm. You're a smart guy, right? Mm -hmm. You know what to do. You know what's right. You keep away. Hmm. Oh, this is revolting. I had no idea how many diseases there were. Tell me about it. They're like this, uh, scurvy. I think I might seriously have that. Brendan, you don't have scurvy. Only pirates get scurvy. The pirates and me? Wait, write that down. That's a good movie title. Hmm. Oh, take this book away from me. Yeah, I can't look at it anymore. I feel like I have every disease in here. Actually, you do look a little more pasty than usual. Yeah, Brennan had your eyes look glassy. I, I feel pasty and glassy. I'm gonna lie down. Jason, what are you drawing? Uh, um, it's a picture of me and a nurse. <laughs> uh, I gotta tell her how I feel, but, I mean... What if she doesn't like me and then I get burned? Jason, there are ways to tell if a woman likes you. Now please, there's no actual way to tell. Brennan, her. stop. I need to hear this. Does she call you cute names? Oh, my God, she does. Hmm. Does she laugh at your jokes? Uh, yeah, she does. Does it seem like she tries to find ways to touch you while she's talking to you? When she's examining me, she touches me while she has a glove on. Hmm. Well, then, I think she likes you. Really? 
Well, um, what do I do? Well, you have to do something before she loses interest, because women are fickle. What's, um, fickle? It means they lose interest easily. Oh. Maybe I should, uh, buy her something, a gift. That's always good. Something a nurse would want, like, um... A thermometer? Hmm. And you could write a cute note, like, you get my temperature rising or something. That's clever. Kind of. Morning. Hey, good coffee. Why, thank you. Did you make it? Yes, I... no. But I helped change the, uh, bottle for the water cooler thing. Uh... Oh, okay. So, I, uh... I understand there's, uh... You and, uh, you and McGurk are, uh, you know, seeing each other, right? What? No. No. Oh, well, that's, uh, that's the way he puts it. God, no, not at all. Lynch, let me tell you, the other night when we went out, I had to drive him home because he was so drunk, and he passed out, and I had to push him out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, wild. <laughs> Hello. Hi there. Hi. <laughs> uh, can I talk to you for a second? Okay. I just, um, wanted to, uh, thank you for the other night, and I'm uh, looking forward to doing that again. I... You know, let's not fool ourselves here. It was special. I felt it. So did you. Uh... So, uh, all right. Here we go. Let the games begin. I... All right? So we'll, uh, <clears throat> we'll talk later then. Uh... And you, I see what you're doing. And hands off, all right? Mm. Uh... Do you want me to talk to him? Oh, no, no, no. I've handled these situations before. You know what? Say no more. I know him, and it really won't no, be a problem. No, seriously. Don't make a big deal out of it. Come on. Pull it together now. Trap the ball. Trap it. Shh. I'm sorry. Can you do that quieter? Brendan, get in there for Jeremy. Oh, coach, I, I can't. I feel terrible. I don't care. Get in there. Oh. Can't fool me. Jeremy, out. Brendan, in. No way, coach. Hey, McGurk. Lynch. You lost, huh? You want a map? No, thanks. Um... You got a minute? I, uh, just wanted to tell you something. Uh, the nurse, uh, I talked to the nurse, mm -hmm. and I think you, uh, well, I mean, I've spoken to her. Look, Lynch, if you got something to say about me and the nurse, say it. All right. Okay. All right. You know what? Well. Forget it. Don't say it. Just go. Get out of here. I'm, all I'm telling, saying is, uh, um... Oh, hi, Brendan. <clears throat> Brendan doesn't look, uh... Well, um, let me, uh, preface this by first saying... Well, you aren't gonna like what follows. Jason, you seem clean today. What, did you accidentally fall in the tub? <laughs> I, um, think it's a good time to tell you something. Sure. I wrote it down. Here, hold on one second. Okay. Okay. Nurse. Beautiful swan. All right, we gotta talk. Uh, we're kind of in the middle of... Why do I have to find out from Lynch that we're not... You know, together. What? I want answers right now. Okay, well, actually, really, we're not together. Oh, great. So, uh, that's it then? Uh, what about the other night? That meant nothing to you? Oh, God. Um, what night? Not now, Jason. I'll kill you! Kid, I got no beef with you. You passed out of my car. That's it. Hey, what? That's not something? Jason, stop. Hey, uh, I was going out to get a salad and, uh, McGurk. Oh, and, uh, well, I can see it's a bad time. If you want one, I'll... Okay, thank you. Look, I got a reputation, all right? Nobody knows about my reputation, but uh, not being interested in me is not going to help. Okay, right. Um, you're going to have to leave now. Uh, I think I'm dying. Brendan, no. I don't have time for you right now. Well, maybe you have time for this. <laughs> I feel horrible. For real for the first time since I've been faking, and I guess the purpose of this documentary is so I can study it and learn how to fake better and, and grow as a faker, so I can enjoy the free time when being sent home rather than throwing up every five seconds, which incidentally isn't terribly relaxing. Um, Brendan, so, you're supposed to be relaxing. Mom, no, not now. I no, to... Brendan, the doctor said it was psychosomatic or stress-related or menopausal. What, something, I wasn't paying attention. Stress-related. Stress related. Right. So you have to relax. Mm. You've done it this time, Brendan. Mm. You're really sick. Are you happy now? Um, yeah, I appreciate the irony. Can I get you anything? You can get me a bucket and some Darvon. Brendan, Mommy ate the bucket of Darvon for lunch. But I'm making soup. Do you want some soup? Yeah, I guess so. What kind? Okay, I was bluffing, actually. Mm. I, I thought you were sick to your stomach. Uh, well, yeah. Um, Brendan? What? Did I ever tell you I used to get these terrible stress headaches in college? You went to college? Oh, whoops. Cat's out of the bag. <laughs> no.
but I would get these headaches. Right, so what would you do? I'd scream at my roommates to be quiet. But they were loud? They were idiots. <laughs> and loud. Oh, and... Uh, they were loud idiots. Oh. You know, I should call them. Why is that? Well, to find out what's become of them, how they're doing, you know, because oh. you need to keep in touch and find out what's become of the people who were once in your life so that you can measure your life against their life and see who won. Oh. But, and I mm -hmm. am way ahead. Yeah, can you pass me that bucket, please? <clears throat> hey, quiet down and listen up. Uh, I'm not joking around here. My name's McGurk, and soccer's the game. We need new players for next season. So if you don't suck at soccer, you come to my office tomorrow and talk to me. And I'll be there. But I won't be there tomorrow. But just come to my office. I'll set it up. And uh, while I have your attention today, I thought I'd like to uh, dispel any rumors that might be circulating about me. I would never, ever date any faculty members. Even if they begged me to date them, I would say no. Unless they really begged. But... They would have to beg a lot in the next 60 seconds, or they blew it. <clears throat> 59, 58, 57, 56, okay? You know, Jason, I thought about what you said, and um, I would like to be your girlfriend. Really? Yes, but not until you're 30, okay? Until then, it's going to have to be strictly professional. So you, uh, if you wait till I'm 30, that'll make you like 60-something. Yep, 60-something. Now that doesn't thrill me. 26. Last chance. 25. I know! I gotta finish! 24. 23. 22. 22. 2-2. Two, two. And 21. Come on, take a look at this. You can't pass it up. 20. 